understanding, Rahul Gandhi has moved the Supreme Court and this is as far as a 2019 defamation case is concerned. The plea seeking a stay on his conviction in the Purnesh Modi defamation case. The plea challenges the Gujarat High Court July 7th order. Legal sources also now confirming to us here at CNN News 18 that the matter is likely to be mentioned before the top court on the 17th of July. We are also understanding Rahul Gandhi is likely to seek urgent hearing of his plea seeking a stay on the conviction in the 2019 defamation case. So those are details that are coming up. We are understanding this matter might be taken up in the Supreme Court around the 17th of July and Rahul Gandhi is likely to ask for an urgent hearing. Our legal correspondent Ananya Bhatnagar, who is in fact getting us this information, is now joining us on the broadcast. Ananya, what are sources telling you as far as the mentioning of this plea is concerned and also talk to our viewers as far as the background of the defamation case is concerned. Well, this was the 2019 defamation case filed by Purnesh Modi against Rahul Gandhi for allegedly defaming. Uh, in fact, you know, a whole community of the Modi is saying uh, his statements were that all Modis are, uh, you know, thieves is what the statement Rahul Gandhi was. The matter was filed before, in fact, a Gujarat court. The Gujarat court convicted Rahul Gandhi and sentenced him to maximum of two years of imprisonment in jail in, in uh, under the charges of criminal defamation. The matter then travelled, uh, in fact, for a, for a stay on conviction to uh, the... Uh, to the Sessions Court uh, where Rahul Gandhi's appeal is still pending with regards to that uh, orders of, uh, you know, uh, sentencing and conviction. However, since uh, a stay on his conviction was needed uh, in order to re uh, reclaim his parliamentary membership, Rahul Gandhi has uh, now approached the topmost court of the country challenging the July 7 order of uh, the Gujarat High Court wherein um, the, the Gujarat High Court had refused to stay uh, the conviction that was granted uh, to Rahul Gandhi in this particular case. Remember that there were crucial observations from uh, the Gujarat High Court when, when it had turned down Rahul Gandhi's appeal uh, in this particular case, clearly saying that Rahul Gandhi uh, had not only defamed a particular person or an individual, but a whole community. In fact, a community that belongs to the backward classes. Apart from that, the court also went on to say that Rahul Gandhi is somebody who is uh, a leader and a former president of the oldest party in the country, and hence his uh, statements hold a lot of value and in the times of social media statements travel really fast at a lightning speed and that's yeah. the reason why the whole community actually got defamed and now mm. the final move that Rahul Gandhi has now made is to knock the doors of the topmost court of the country the temple of justice the yeah. supreme court of India clearly asking for a stay on his conviction whether or not that is granted is a matter of time the, uh, sure. uh, what we are also being told by our sources is that an urgent mentioning of this matter would take place on July 17th that is Monday and uh, senior advocate Abhishek Manu Singhvi is heading this particular legal team after a due deliberation, this appeal has been filed before the Supreme Court of India. And we'll have to wait and watch as to how things pan out when the matter reaches the apex court of the country. Ridhima. Ananya, we'll just request you to stay on with us. We want to bring in our colleague and senior editor, Pallavi Ghosh, who's also now joining us on the broadcast. Pallavi, how crucial is this case as far as Rahul Gandhi is concerned? And also, what are sources within the Congress telling you what is going to be the next plan of action as far as the legal team of Rahul Gandhi is concerned? Well, this is really the last hope the uh, Rahul Gandhi has and the entire Congress and his legal team have, which is the Supreme Court. So what they're going to be looking for is that reprieve or a relief, which is never found in the lower courts as well. So obviously the best foot forward will be put forward. And Anya has already put out the legal arguments which have been given out by the Congress party on behalf of Rahul Gandhi. And pretty much similar is the political argument as well, that one, it's a case of political witch hunt against Rahul Gandhi. Second, and this is something which Mr. Gandhi has said it himself, both here and abroad, that his crime was not in uh, you know in sync with the kind of punishment which has been meted out to him. Defamation suits are very ordinary. Uh, there was no need for his disqualification to take place. In fact, even as we speak, uh, you know, you do see those kind of silent satyagraha or street protests by Congress leaders across the country. So that pressure is building up. That momentum is also being building up. Up, very closer again to a parliament session. Politically speaking, I think this is going to be very, very critical on what is the verdict which is going to be coming in from the Supreme Court. If he gets that relief and he's able to contest elections, well, obviously it's a win-win situation. But if he doesn't, I think the Congress has also got his plan B ready in case he doesn't get that relief from the Supreme Court. Uh, he has said this, that he's still going to be working for the Congress party as an armed karakarta. But politically speaking, yes, he's going to be the main campaign face. The Congress would try to use it to their yeah. advantage to make the point 
that, you know, it looks he's been disqualified only because he raises those tough questions against the BJP. Yeah, Pallavi, we'll just request you to stay on with us. Going back to Ananya as well. Ananya, as Pallavi was also rightly pointing out, if you look at the arguments that have been made by Rahul Gandhi and his legal team, they've time and again said that there was no intention of malefied when these comments were made. But how come these arguments uh, found no solace as far as uh, the courts were concerned, specifically the lower courts? You know, uh, it, it, the matter has travelled almost three courts. Three times Rahul Gandhi has been given a setback into this particular case. And what is crucial to note is that every court that has dismissed his, uh, you know, uh, a petition, whether whether it's for the stay on conviction or in fact uh, the, the trial court convicting him in this particular case, they've made certain kind of observations. So uh, not only, uh, you know, uh, the, the, the part of malice is to be accepted, but also we'll have to see that all of these observations clubbed together might be troublesome for Rahul Rahul Gandhi, it might be tough, but at the same point of time, it's the topmost court of the country. It would be analyzing the matters on the basis of facts. So, uh, definitely, they are bestowing their hopes uh, on the topmost court of the country. Uh, what would be very, very interesting to see also is that to which bench this matter goes to and uh, how uh, would uh, Dr. Singhvi would be putting up his argument? Because remember, when, when the Gujarat High Court was actually hearing it, he had argued the case in much detail. He had gone into the defamation law. He had gone into various judgments with regards to a defamation law and had tried to convince the court on a very, very important aspect apart from defamation that Rahul Gandhi is not only an ordinary person, he is a elected representative from Widenard and uh, if at all Rahul Gandhi is, is uh, Rahul Gandhi's conviction is not stayed and he is uh, uh, con he continues to uh, remain absent from the parliament since he is not a member of the parliament after that particular conviction, then the people of Widenard are the major people who would be suffering because they would be having no representation in uh, in fact the parliament of india uh, and and two sessions that is the winter session and the monsoon session are just uh, likely to come up very very soon and that's that's also a big point that dr seeming might be raising when when he actually goes on to appear for rahul gandhi remember that this petition that would also be running into you know uh, hundreds of pages would be sure. pointing out this fact as well but uh, until we actually access that particular uh, petition all we know at this point of time is that he has challenged those observations that were made against him is challenged. Uh, in fact, that particular order that was passed by Gujarat High Court on July 7, uh, in fact, is, um, giving out no kind of a stay on his conviction and clearly holding that Rahul Gandhi is actually liable to go for a uh, conviction into this particular case. And the trial court had done no error while, you know, granting a conviction. And